Film fans of YouTube, hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, your movie apprentice, and today I'm taking a little pause from my horror watch throughs as it's time to start covering the Raindance Independent Film Festival, a UK festival that is going to be run online this year to shine a light on independent film from the UK and across the globe. And I'm going to be beginning my coverage with not to be unpleasant, but we need to have a serious talk. It is a Greek dark comedy about a man who discovers that he carries an STI that while harmless to men is very fatal to women and him being a womanizer has to first of all track down his ex-lovers from the last four years and also try and figure out who gave him this virus in the first place. This film will be available to see from the 28th of October to the 7th of November and you can catch all the Raindance stuff at raindance.org forward slash festival. It is free to watch for most of it and I'd employ to check some of these films out because I've been looking enough to see some of these films on advanced screenings and there is some good quality on show from across the globe. If you do want to keep up with my rain dance coverage then consider clicking the like button subscribing to the channel. Keep up to date with this throughout. I'll be jostling this with my horror stuff for the rest of the month and then start the level will be all rain dance and then I'll jump back into the normal standard coming out reviews. So this concept for me, I thought this was just going to be a satirical comedy because of the way it's laid out, the title, I figured it's going to be the classic case of a woman as getting what's coming to him. But this film goes above and beyond and goes deeper than I ever expected it to. This film has a lot of deeper moments, a lot of shocking moments and goes to some dark places at times. This is a very, very entrancing watch. I am very surprised by how I was just focused throughout seeing this man have his whole world slowly crumble around him as he has to make his way through all these exes. There was a big question why did he let the hospital tell all these ex-lovers about the disease but that question does get unraveled bit by bit as the film goes through. The range of reactions from the cast and the different women he's been with are very widespread and it's great to see how the stakes are sort of raised with each individual person that he meets up with and it's just glorious to see the slow pacing of this it never feels overly long no scene ever feels like it overstays its welcome most if not all of the characters are memorable in some way shape or form and some of them have to make do with the smallest amount of screen time as we traverse through this film. So when they do have that scene that they get the shine, they all step up their game to the next level and make sure that you remember their characters. Now, if I had some flaws with this film, I would say that some characters just feel like afterthoughts. So you can tell that some characters have more focus put upon them than others. So those that have the smallest amount of spotlight on them definitely don't gel in with the film as well as some of the other characters do. But this is a minor gripe on my half because I really enjoyed the pacing of this film. Some of the stronger elements of this is the soundtrack. It's got a very synthy vibe to it. And there is some voiceovers being read out by a certain character that really adds a foreboding nature to this film. For some of the bit itself is a dark comedy, I'll say there are less laughs and more just eye-popping moments where you just completely sucked into the story. Now this guy, he's a hardcore womanizer and you get the impression early on he's not very likable and at no point did I think he was overly likable but him having the face up with his past demons and his past mistakes right in front of him. The lead actor in this is absolutely phenomenal. I would list off the actors names but unfortunately I do not want to disrespect the actors by terribly mispronouncing their names. If you check the description below you'll find the director and the key cast members, as well as information on how to view this film yourself. But overall, this film really had me going. I thought it was going to be one thing, ended up being a completely different thing, and I've never been so glad to be wrong about a film by looking at just its premise alone. This film takes a premise that could have been goofy and slapstick and actually made it very dark, very deep, and... The performances all around are really good. Each character is memorable. It runs for about an hour and 40 minutes and 
I wouldn't say it's the easiest watch because there are some bits that are a little bit rough, but in a good way. There are rough bits in a good way, but it definitely sucked me in. And out of the screws I've seen already, this is probably my favorite. So I'll say if you do have a spare time over the next week or so to go on the website and look at these films, I would strongly recommend checking this one out. I'm going to say that not to be unpleasant, but we need to have a serious talk, is a good cup of tea. So, if you have seen this film, let me know what you thought down in the comments below and let me know, are there any films at Raindance that you are looking forward to seeing? Are you even going to look at Raindance in the coming weeks? Coming up on the channel, obviously more Raindance footage, more horror coverage and there's not really a whole lot of more I can say. Obviously, like the video if you enjoyed it. Let's have a discussion down in the comments and subscribe for more content that is coming thick and fast all the time. Until next time, my name is Josh, I have been your movie apprentice, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thank you for watching, and thank you for making it to the end of the video. While you are here, if you haven't done it yet, please feel free to drop a like and consider hitting that subscribe button for more views coming all the time. And also, while you are here, there are some other videos over there that you might want to sink your teeth into. Have a good day, guys, and do enjoy.